Assign Profile and Convert to Profile. The profile is nothing but the color space in a document. It specifies a particular color space for a document so that it is unique in all computers. For example, it can be RGB or CMYK and so forth. You can assign a profile for an image by using this option. Now go to the Edit menu and choose Assign Profile, which is below the color setting option. Here you've got its dialog box with the options such as don't color manage this document, where it removes the existing profile from the document. You can select this option only if you're sure that you do not want to color manage the document. Then after you remove the profile from this document, the appearance of colors is substituted with the working space profiles, and you cannot work with the previous profile anymore. The working color model assigns the working color profile in the document. Then this is the profile option where you can change the color spaces for the image or any other documents. In the profile, you have a set of predefined color profiles list. Now double click on its option and press the down key from the keyboard to change the color profiles. And you can also see the change of profile in the preview option. After doing the changes in the profile, Apply it in the image and then click on OK so that it does get applied to the image. If you wish to quit this action, then you should select the Cancel option where it stops the application. Convert to Profile In the Convert to Profile option, you can convert a profile for an image or a document. To open this application, go to the Edit menu and select the Convert to Profile option. Now you'll get a dialog box with some options in it. Here is the source space, where you can see the current profile of the document. Under destination space, you have the profile option, where it allows you to change the current profile to any of the profiles from these options by clicking on it and selecting it. Under the conversion options, you can change the engine, where it helps us to specify the color management module, or CMM, used to map the gamut color, and their options are Adobe, ACE, or Microsoft ICM. Then you have the indent option, which specifies the rendering intent used to translate one color space to another. When you click on its option, you can change it to perceptual, saturation, relative, and absolute calorimetric. The black point compensation option will ensure that the shadow detail in the image is preserved. The use dither option will control whether to dither colors when converting 8 bit per channel images between other color spaces. Now to flatten all the layers of a document onto a single layer upon conversion, enable the Flatten Image option. You can preview the conversions using this preview option. After doing all the changes, you can click on OK to apply the changes to the image. Hence, using these two options, you can assign and change the color profiles for a Photoshop document quite easily. Preferences number one. There are numerous program settings stored in the Adobe Photoshop CS4 Preferences option, including general display options, file saving options, performance options, cursor options, transparency options, type options, and options for plug-in and scratch disks. Most of these options are set in the Preferences dialog box. Preference settings are saved each time you quit the application. To change the settings, go to the Edit menu and click on Preferences. And now you'll get the preferences in a categorized manner. Now let's click on the General option and we'll see its corresponding settings. In the left-hand side of the dialog box, And when you click on any of the options, you get the corresponding settings in the center of the dialog box. General. Under General category, you can set the color picker type. Image Interpolation, which also allows us to set the method while resizing an image. Auto Update Open Documents option. This will update while opening documents. Beep When Done option will alert us that the action or process is completed. Then Dynamic Color Sliders, Export Clipboard, Use Shift Key while switching tools, Resize Image during Paste Place, all these zooming features and other default options can be checked. 
This history log option allows items to be saved as metadata, text file, or both types. You can reset all the warning dialog boxes using the Reset Warning button. Interface In this interface option, we can change the color and drop shadow for standard screen mode, full screen with menus, and full screen options. You can choose any of these options from here, and also from the Panels and Documents options. In the UI Text options, you can select the language and the font size for the text here. File Handling Under File Saving Documents, we have Image Previews to be Never Save, Always Save, and Ask When Saving. In File Compatibility, you can set Camera Raw Preference as Prefer Adobe Camera Raw Files for Supported Raw Files, and then Ignore EXIF Profile Tag. And then finally, Ask Before Saving Layered TIFF Files. You can change Maximized PSD and PSB File Compatibility to Never, Always, and Ask. Version queue can be enabled in which you can specify how many files should contain the recent file list. Now we'll discuss the rest of these categories in the upcoming lesson. Preferences number two. Performance category allows us to set the memory usage by Photoshop. Now under memory usage options, you can set the memory usage for Photoshop by moving this slider left to right or typing the number into the text box. The scratch disks should have large amounts of free space and you can select the desired drive where the Photoshop is stored. This history state allows us to set the maximum numbers of steps to be maintained in the history palette. Cache level for image data and this option sets the speed how the image is redrawn in the screen and the histogram speed. Under GPU settings, you can enable OpenGL drawings. Now, GL is nothing but the graphics library and it's related to the graphics card in the computer. You can enhance the graphics performance and rendering check 3D acceleration option. This description property teaches us all about the options in this category by giving a brief description of it when you move the cursor in the option. Cursors. In this category you have cursor types as painting cursors and other cursors. The painting cursors can be standard, precise, normal or full brush size tip. If needed, you can enable Show Crosshair in Brush Tip to have some precise painting. In other cursors, the brush type can be standard or precise. And you can also set the color in the Brush Preview option. Transparency and Gamuts In this transparency setting, you can change the grid size and grid color for transparent background. The first and second color box will help us change the color for transparent backgrounds. Gamut's warnings show us the colors that are out of the range of the gamut. In this color option, you can change the gamut color, click on the color, and then you get the color picker dialog box, where you can select a color for the areas in an image that are out of gamut. Then you can also set the opacity of the gamut color. Next up, you're going to see how to set the preferences for visual guides, plugins, and type in the upcoming lesson. Preferences number three. Units and rulers. Under units and rulers category, you can set the measurements type used in rulers and type tool. The column size can be specified in width and also in the gutter value can be given in inches, centimeters, millimeters, points, and so on. This new document preset resolution, such as print and screen resolution, can be set in pixels per inch or pixels per centimeter. The default resolution size is 300 pixels per inch and screen resolution is 72 pixels per inch. And the point pica size for postscript and traditional can also be set. Guides, grids, and slices. In guides, you can change the color and style for it. Then you can change the color for smart guide. Here you can change the color and style for grid. And you can change the appearance of grid line after every pixel or inches, centimeter, millimeter, and so on. 
that can be specified along with the grid subdivisions. The color for slices can be set over here, and you can enable the Show Slice Numbers option to slice with the numbering. Plugins Under this, the additional plugins can be added to Photoshop using this category. The legacy Photoshop serial number is required in case the plugins you install requires a Photoshop serial number. In this extension panels, you'll be able to allow extensions to connect to the internet and the load extensions panels in which you can work with the extension files. Type. In this category, you have type options like use smart quotes, show Asian text options, enable missing glyph protection, and show font names in English. Then finally you have an option for font preview size, which can be set for our need. You can change the default options that are available while using the type tool. Now that you've learned all the categories available in the preferences palette, you can change the desired settings. Now an important note for you, as you make the changes, don't forget to restart the application, because it works when you restart the program.